Hey guys, today I'm going to be going through French core kicks in under 5 minutes, alright? So, first thing, this is how to do it in FL Studio, um, and we're going to be using uh, Citrus as our drum synthesizer. So, first off, we start with uh, the, this is the bass sound that I've made. Just solo. So there's a little a little punch for the actual kick part of it, and that's on one. And then for the second part, we have a bass, which is just if we go volume, it's just like that. And that's also got a pitch envelope on it to create a kick, you know. Hopefully you guys know how to make a simple kick in in a synthesizer. Um, so after that, you can play with the waveform using this these sliders. Oh, we'll turn that back up, um, and then same with this. Uh, now what I do then is oh, we'll press play, cue a bit, then the. The magic begins. I'll turn that off because it's got white noise because it's just the demo. You can get the demo and you can use it for your kicks if you'd like. Um, filter bank 3. So all this is is uh, a filter and oh, it's it's playing up a little bit because it's, it's off. And yeah, so you can create a bunch of different kicks just by playing with the knobs, basically. Um, so yeah, all it is is a low pass and a high pass, and um, you're boosting the resonance pretty high, and it's got the tube amp on uh, in the distortion section here. Um, next, I add a little bit of reverb, um, and it just that gives more information to distort after the first round of distorting, a little bit of stereo information makes it sound a bit wider and a bit more full. And then I use a trash. Oh. I use a trash and we just use simple clip control and I've compressed it just like real slightly. And then some more EQ because uh, you'll end up taking a lot of the bass out using filter bank. And so I'm just adding that back in. And then Oxford Inflator, just to clip anything anything that goes over 0 dB, basically. And we end up with something like this. And yeah, you can create a bunch of different kicks. Uh, then after that, all I've done is create, I just created three kicks here. And then um, I chose one, one of the tails that I liked, um, and it was this one. And then all I did is layer a sub um, using silent under that. And then I just layered another kick underneath and I also put um, another punch underneath and I also uh, previously when I did the when I did the uh, sub layer underneath I just do it underneath the second half so just this half um, I also put a like a clubby kick just to give it a bit more attack and then you'll end up with something like this 
which is what the goal was in the first place. Um, and that's it. That's that's the French core kick, basically. Um, you can make a bunch of different variations using this method, so go on ahead and bloody make some kicks. You can check out this kick in the EP that I just released, um, and the link will be down below. Thanks, guys. Peace out.